Shalom, shalom, everyone. I thought I'd show you how I feed my birds. First off, uh, these are my uh, bird feed barrels. And I use um, wild bird feed. I normally but that one is the one I bought at my uh, farmer's co-op. And I don't think it's worth it. I can get this wild bird feed at Walmart for six something. And that one was 12 something. Now in this barrel, this is hen scratch. Now that looks just like wild bird feed, but it has, um, uh, oh, I think I can get that long thing right there. I don't know what that is, but it has that, and uh, um, the wild bird feed doesn't. That down there is, this is both the Walmart wild bird feed and for my farmer's co-op wild bird feed. Now this came, this hen scratch came in a 50 pound bag. Boy, let me tell you, that was something else to get in from the from my van. But here's a good look at it. And, you know, I don't remember how much that was for the 50 pound bag. But whenever I get the chance, I do go to the farmer's co op to get this because the birds do like that. Now, mixed down there in the bottom. Oh, and in this one. I have my black oil sunflower seeds, which y'all know what those are. And then I have my cracked corn. Now I bought this cracked corn at Walmart. It's a 40 pound bag and it cost me, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, 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 was it? uh seven dollars eight dollars i don't know but that's cracked corn now this cracked corn is not as cracked as i like it to be because see it's uh kind of got some big pieces in there there is a cracked corn that i get from my uh farmer's co-op that is like that mexican cracked corn that you eat chula chulo chula I don't know, I'll have to put it down in the description. Um, and I like it better because this cracked corn is a little on the big side. And then this down here, this is, uh, was a 50 pound bag of, um, I think that's called millet. I'm not sure exactly what that's called. But the little birds like this. Well, the big birds like it too. But, I buy them for that for variety for the birds. Now over here, I use this old stump as a bird table, and I put the corn. There's some bugs. Birds will like that. I put corn and um, I put that uh, um, hen scratch. And as you can see, I've even got some stuff growing. <laughs> because here's where I put my table scraps, too. If I have table scraps that I want to feed the birds, I put it here, too. And then, now there's Jimmy scratching away. Let me cover this up before I forget. Well, i got to put my thing back in there, but here. This is one of those things where you can put your cup... You know, when you're drinking your cup beside your lawn chair, you can stick it in the ground and put your cup in there. That's where I put the sunflower seeds for the big birds. Because the big birds, um, they don't like the, uh, um, the little bird feeders and they can't get to it as good. So my cardinals and my blue jays, uh, they love this. Now the other birds come here and eat it too, but this is mainly big and open like this for the big birds and then here's the corn 
and again I put it here on the side and it's for the big birds uh, the um, old cardinals and, and, and blue jays they like to come to this where they can uh, because they're bigger you know and they've got a place to sit and everything now this I use as a bird table too but I also use double duty for it because this bird feeder is very messy the birds come and they they knock the feed out so having this here catches that feed they knock out and then the other birds can eat off of this all the birds eat off of this um, I have doves I have morning doves I have ring neck doves um, I have uh, house finches um, oh what else well I got the cardinals I got the the blue jays um, of course I've got the the uh, sparrows uh, I have brown-headed cowbirds um, I can't think of what all else I've got and I do have some uh, house finches sometimes come here and sometimes the uh, mockingbirds will come here and the the robins but usually the robins and the mockingbirds will go over to the food table where there's food scraps they seem to like the food scraps but see then that hangs here and then if they knock the feed out well there's something here to catch it and it doesn't it well it goes all over the ground y'all let me tell you it goes all over the ground now here is where I have that millet and I have it like this. This is a chicken feeder. But with it being like this, they can't kick that seed out as easily. So this really saves on seed. But the big birds don't tend to like it. Um, the house finches uh, like it and the sparrows. And then here is the black oil sunflower seeds. And again, the big birds don't like this. But the finches love using this bird feeder. So uh, that's how I feed my birds. And that's what I feed them. I feed them only once a day. Of course, on, on the Sabbath, I don't feed them. They just have to eat the leftovers that's on the ground. But uh, I have lots of birds. I will see if I've got any pictures of birds. Wouldn't you know it, trying to take pictures? No birds, and then you know my excellent camera skills. But I'm going to see if I can uh, uh, find some pictures, uh, old pictures of uh, birds, and I will include them. So thanks for watching, everybody. Shalom, shalom. And you ought to feed your backyard birds, too. Bye. Oh, and I don't let these bags go to waste either when I empty them out. I take them in the house and I use them in my recycling uh, can in the house. So these are recyclable. So I use them for all the uh, recycled paper goods in the house. Come on, Jim. Time to go in the house. Quit scratching. Jim, Jim, come on. Good boy.